world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff we love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Okay, I got this package in today. This thing is fantastic and I really want to share it with you immediately. Okay, I did take it out of the box. It's a Kaiser. Surprise, surprise. Um, Kaiser's Rock. I'm a big fan. Um, now, I don't like one specific brand more than any other or one type of knife more than any other. I love all knives equally they're like little children but um i must say kaiser you cannot go wrong with a kaiser i love them anyway so i got this one um if you buy it from the knife guy now it is 1800 and something so it is a bit more expensive but i like it and it's a kaiser mini okay now normally you cannot really tell how big a knife is from a Kaiser box because they all come in the same boxes. Um, I've been seeing them sending extra screws the last while, even with your little blue Loctite already on there. Um, so I like that. Free hardware is always good. Okay, we have a cleaning cloth and a piece of paper in there, a thing with a few pictures, not knife specific. Okay, so let's get this out of the way for now. Now, what mini knife might this be? Because previously I said I like bigger knives. Now, I don't know how big a Kaiser Paragon is, but the pa Kaiser Paragon Mini is definitely not that mini. This thing is awesome. Okay, look at that blade shape. Oh, that's fantastic. It comes in 154cm, opening hole and flipper tab. Very crisp detent on this bad boy. I love this little pivot collar and little, little pivot. Green micarta handle. A lot of texturing. But look at that thing. That looks super cool. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay. Then on the back, we have the... Wow. Now, I cannot remember who actually designed this knife. It will be in the description with all the specs and everything as always. Um... Yeah, so just click there and you will see that over there it says Mini Paragon. Okay, now this is a first impressions, first look, whatever. But spoiler alert, I love this thing. Okay, I've had it for only... I came home, um, there's something wrong with my bucky, pickup, truck, ute, wherever you live, whatever you want to call it. Um, it starts, but you have to... Anyway, never mind. Anyway, so I was going through fuses and things and whatnot, but... I couldn't stop playing with this thing and I really, really wanted to show you this. Okay, let's quickly do a bit of size over here. Okay, so this thing is three, looks like three and a half inches long, the blade. This is the mini. Okay, I would really love to see what the Paragon or Paragon XL looks like one day. Actually, no, I would not. Okay, so it's nine and something, yeah, nine centimeters, the blade about there. I might be off a bit, but you can see that in the description. Overall, it looks like 22, and over there, it's like 8.5 inches. Okay, quite a fat thing. Over here, it's like pretty much 2 inches. Can you see that? Uh, almost 2 inches if we go from the fattest part over there to there. So, it's quite a big, chunky thing. Um, I think it's... What's that? No, that's inches, sorry. I don't know. Let's quickly check with this bad boy because it doesn't look that thick and the thing slices quite nicely. 1.2, which is 3 millimeters. Okay, so 3 millimeter blade stock, 154 cm, which is a fantastic steel. Guillotine ish. This thing looks super cool. And then, oh, that sounds good. Let's listen to that again. That's cool, ne? That's super cool. Okay, and then of course, spidey flicking. I suppose you can thumb flick it, although I never really do that anymore. Oh, yes, you can, like a champion. Do I have paper over here? No, I don't. I have whatever this is. Oh, but it slices even that like a dream. Like backing to a sticker. Um, Yes, fantastic knife. I love this thing. But... I'm not sure if I would really want a bigger one. Um, big knives. Wonderful thumb ramp over there. No jumping on it. 
it's got some jumping over there so i suppose if you want to hard use this thing and i suppose you can do the knuckle over that but it feels a bit uncomfortable yeah you'll have to go like that oh reverse grip it shines okay um this is a wonderful knife if you want to do bushcrafty things and everybody that complains about Spyderco, Pare 3, Ach, Pare 2's thin tips, get one of these. Now you can open paint cans while you are doing whatever else. Okay, so I quite like this thing. But I don't think that you would need a bigger one of this. Otherwise, it's going to go into, I don't know, Medfer territory. Because if I can remember correctly, this is six and something ounces. It's a chunky thing. So if you're going to go to a bigger one than this, you're not going to carry it anymore. Let's quickly put it against the rat. Okay, now the rat looks very small, but the rat blade size is about the same. Let's put that. Yeah, let's put them like that. Rat is maybe a bit longer at the nose and then at the back a bit shorter. So this thing's just got a big handle. Although the handle looks quite small if you look at it like that. So yes. Kaiser Paragon Mini. Nothing mini about this little beast. Okay, that's me for today. Today is Thursday. Um, you might just see this thing for Friday. Yeah, so if I don't do a fun knife Friday, this is also my fun knife Friday. Okay, that's me for now. Um, I know I have to finish this thing for Um Yapi. Make it look nice and whatever. And I promise I will do that. I just have not gotten around to that yet. But for now, all of you that did not subscribe, please do that over there. And all of you that's always subscribed and that subscribed, thank you very much. And all of you stay safe, happy and have a good one. Goodbye.